Hello and welcome to the video lecture uh, on online analytical processing tools, OLAP tools. Uh, so, so far, uh, what you've been associated with for the most part is an online transaction processing environment uh, using SQL and reporting tools. Uh, now we're going to talk about uh, online analytical processing. You know, analytical processing is how do we analyze uh, our data. Right, so uh, usually it's a set of graphical tools uh, that provides the users with a multi-dimensional view of their data. Uh, so it's a quick way for uh, someone on the board of directors to have uh, a very simplified uh, representation of data so that they can make a quick decision. Um, we can use uh, ROLAP, relational OLAP. Uh, which is used with tradi traditional relational representation. Uh, we can have multi-dimensional uh, online analytical processing, which is a cube structure. Now, when we talk about cubes, um, not every database management system has the ability to store data in a multi-dimensional way. Uh, even if you're storing your data warehousing information, it's typically still two-dimensional, still fairly similar to the relational world that you're familiar with. When we get into cubes, it's literally a structure in the database management system that allows you to store data in three dimensions. And we'll, I'll give you an example of that in just a second. Um, and there are, there are also hybrids of the relational, uh, the relational and the multi-dimensional. Uh, that are covered in the uh, in the text. Let me just see if I can find. Well, suffice to say that they're in there. Um, all right. So they, uh, there's. Uh, so let's look at cube slicing. Uh, so you're going to take a cube, and you're going to show, and I'm going to show you how you would get a two-dimensional view uh, of the data, and then uh, we talk about drill down. Um, where we go from summary to our more detailed information. So if we look at slicing a cube, a cube has two dimensions, really three dimensions. So in this case, we, we are talking about uh, our product, our products and our months and the measures associated uh, with those products over those months. So we've got our three dimensions, makes a cube. Um, so in this case, if we wanted to slice this data cube and look at just information associated with shoes, the information that would be returned would be depending on our, um, our date uh, dimension. Uh, in this case, we're talking about months. We can see for January, February, March, April, and May, uh, how many units uh, and, you know, looking at the measures, the units, the revenues, and the costs associated with our shoe product. Uh, so that's how you would slice a data cube. How you actually do that in SQL is beyond the scope of this course. Um, but, again, uh, it, it is certainly a, uh, a technique used uh, in analytical processing. And then we have drill downs. Uh, so you can have a summary report, uh, as you see at the top, and then if I wanted to see uh, really the, the drill down information and add in the color, um, I can see how that gets expanded. Uh, another way of drilling down uh, when we talk about summaries um, is that uh, we would talk about uh, the shoe product and then uh, get, you know, drill down into uh, the specific styles of shoes, things of that nature. Uh, a, last, uh, a last look at what would be produced uh, by analytical processing would be a uh, business performance uh, management dashboard. Uh, so in this case, this would be something that you would represent to someone on the board of directors uh, to let them see uh, the net profit, how the net profit has grown, uh, what's its recent trend? Is it going up? Is it going down? Um, so this is what's known as data visualization. Uh, taking your data and representing it in such a way uh, to let the person who's viewing it in a very quick and simple um, graphical interface let them see 
where they are and what the data is doing. You can see like the gross profit, you can see how it was going down in 2008, uh, it was uh, going up in 2009. So depending on where those arrows are pointing uh, would be an indicator to this person. Uh, you can see the graphical charts, uh, the bar charts, uh, the line charts, all that kind of stuff. This is what uh, people on the board of directors are expecting to see as a result of all the money they've invested in this data warehouse. So that is uh, the end of my video, video lecture on online analytical processing.